Hi everyone, uh, it's me here, Big Friendly Wargamer again, as usual. Just doing a quick look at my desk, it's a uh, bit of a state at the moment. It may be a bit more tidied up before I actually get into my painting thing today. Well, I've been talking about the whole uh, idea of scale in wargaming for a little while now. I just wanted to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. If you're not into 40k, this is... So, this guy here, he's a space marine. He's your average size guy in 40k. He's 28 mil. Um, he stands about an inch and a half high, maybe a bit more. Two and a half inches, I don't know. What's an inch? Um, but he's your, he's your basic guy in 40k. He's actually Imperial Fist because he's yellow. But anyway. And so, this is the equivalent knight in 40k. And I will pull the camera back a little bit because he's a bit of a big boy. So this is a, a, a 40k knight. Um, as you can see, he's quite a lot bigger than the Space Marine. Um, and he's supposed to be. This is a guy I painted uh, a year or two ago now. Um, he's a knight paladin. Um, doesn't have a name because he hasn't earned the name. He's just the paladin at the moment. He hasn't really had seen much action, but there's actually should be a bit there. But anyway. Uh, so yeah, he's a model I painted a while ago, um, but I just wanted, for scale purposes, to show him off, right? Now, put that space ring back away as well. Now, this is a knight in, in Titanicus, uh, in uh, Adeptus Titanicus, sorry. Um, so you can see he's quite a lot, lot smaller, he's not much bigger than the space ring, he's a little bit bigger. Um, but as you can see, the scale's totally different. So that, that model there, that red model, he's not painted, don't worry about him being painted or whatever. Uh, actually, let's put the right one down. So this guy here, who I noticed I've actually, let's move my palette out of the way as well. Um, I've actually just realized that I've put the heavy stubber on wrong. Uh, not heavy stubber, the battle cannon. The heavy stubber's supposed to be underneath, but it doesn't matter. Right, so that's a, that's a Knight in Titanicus, which is a bigger scale game. And when you compare it to, this is my Knight Paladin. These basically are the same models, but in different scales. So you can see he barely come, he doesn't quite come up to his knee. All right. Now, when I'm talking about scale, this this will be a difficult bit. So we're going to put that Knight here, so you should be able to see him. That's a 40k scale, that's Titanicus scale, so it's epic scale. Now let's see if I can actually get this guy onto my desk without dropping bits off of him. So this is a Warlord Titan. Right, so you've got all three in shot now. So that's a Warlord Titan for Adeptus Titanicus. You can see he's not quite as high as a, 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 a knight. Um, but he's getting on some more to scale. Now, if you think that this model here is the same as this model, right? And when you compare this, to, oh, now I've dropped him and I've broken him. Anyway, get one of the other ones. Um, so you can see, so that knight just about comes over the knee of the warlord, right? So you can imagine in 40k scale, how big this warlord titan is. You're, you're talking uh, probably, probably about 30 to 40 centimeters high it's quite tall um so obviously so that is the same as that so the warlord titan in 40k scale would be huge compared to that so i just wanted to give you an idea of scale it was my little bit of a uh ramble a pre-ramble maybe we should say um so yeah i will uh be right back with my painting normal painting video yeah, hello again everyone, um, I'm going to start my little painting ramble now, it's quarter four so I'm going to try and do about an hour like I always do. Um, we have a quick look at what's on my desk, It's bit, it's been a mess for a while now but we have got my Imperial Knight which is right down here, it's quite a big guy, we've got all my Blood Bowl counters so we've got the Eight point cow star for the kickoff uh, for when the ball scatters. The throw in counter, uh, like 
that. And we've got the, the coins from my chaos team, the uh, re-roll markers, and we've got a little football there, which you can just about see. We've got a Holoquin Troop Master, who I should have got painted quite a while ago, but I haven't done it. We've got five just undercoated Imperial Fists and five finished Imperial Fists. We've got my three knights, one of which uh, has fallen apart, as you would have seen in the clip I just posted. We've got the Space Ring Captain, who's nearly, nearly finished. And we've got my Warlord Titan, which is undercoated. You'll, you would have seen it in the previous thing. So, what are we going to do today? I think we're going to get these painted because my Blood Bowl team's finished. We've started the league. I really need to get these finished. So, it's uh, a quick and easy stuff to get done. It's going to be a shade. It's going to be a dry brush. And that's going to be about it on them. Maybe painting the numbers and stuff. So we're going to go with a, a shade first, and we're using Reitland Fresh Flesh Shade. Give it a bit of a shake, <clears throat> and this is just going to be a, a, a shade straight out of the pot. I want to make it quite a heavy shade, so that it's going to do its job. My shade brush. A wash brush it's called but there you go and we're going to start with the the uh, scatter template first plenty on there aren't we? we're just gonna give it a shade so yeah I, I, I talk about my week generally when I do these um, it's been the same as always um, work play Rinse and repeat, that's about my life. It's fine. Um, so, I got the club yesterday. Well, first off, I, I did finish two Imperial Fish last week. Uh, Thursday, I believe. Um, which brings my painting tally now to 185. So I'm only 15 away from hit my target for the year which means the warlord titan may be making a uh, uh, reaver titan even not the warlord i haven't got a warlord yet uh the reaver titan will be making an appearance probably on these videos quite soon because i'll be building rather than painting it's something that i've wanted to do for a while but i've always, i've put it off and i've put it off and i've put it off and i'm not putting it off anymore i'm gonna do it so yeah, but I've got to get another 15 models finished first, so let's get these models finished. And I've been in two minds of what to actually, which models to uh, paint for my last 15. They won't be the last models I paint for the year, I'm sure I'll be painting more. Um, but I've been thinking about which I should use, what I should finish for the year. Um, so I've got my targets that I set is I've got to get three super heavy things finished um, one of them will be the Reaver hopefully one will probably be the Lord of Skulls and uh, the other one might be my Glaive for 30k Right, so that's the shade on there done. We're going to do the throwing counter the same as well now. I'm doing these, these aren't particularly, they don't need to be painted, but I thought they would look cool if I did. And these are going to be quite simple things. They're just going to be literally, like I said, shaded. They, they've been spray painted, shaded, and they're going to get dry brushed. So and then I'll, I'll just pick out the numbers in probably over a white or a blue. Um, so yeah, talking about what what I should carry on painting. So that's the three that I was aiming for, the soup heavies. Um, the Reaver Titan, is it a realistic thing that I'm going to get it finished? Probably not, but I'm going to try. Um, 
But short of that, the only other thing target that I haven't hit is the um, small force from a non-GW uh, game. Um, the, the, the obvious one would be Malifaux because it means I don't have to buy any more models because I've got a small crew of that that need finishing. Um, I've got a small drop zone commander force which I could paint that. Um, but I, one thing I was thinking of doing is there's a game called Star Trek Attack Wing. Now I love my sci-fi. I like Star Trek. I like Star Wars. But I, I would say of the lot I prefer Star Trek rather than Star Wars. Heresy but it's it's what I want. What's It's what I like. So um and I was considering getting myself a little 100 point um, force of Star Trek Attack Wing. Um, now if anyone's played X-Wing, it kind of plays the same. Um, but the company that sell Star Trek Attack Wing have just started putting out un unpainted models rather than pre-painted stuff. They've started making it so you can actually paint your own army. Um, which I quite like the idea of that, so I may get get myself it, a hundred point uh, fleet for say probably Klingons or Borg or maybe even Starfleet. I don't know, um, but it's not going to cost a lot of money. I've just noticed a bit that I've missed on that one. So it should only cost me, say, 40 quid. Uh, it won't be a lot of ships. It'll be one probably big cruiser uh, alongside a couple of escorts. So when I say escorts, you're looking at uh, the Defiant is an escort. Uh, a, a cruiser would be something along the size of the Enterprise, which is a sovereign class ship or a galaxy class ship. So yeah, I, I, I think I, could, I might go for that, and then I can then I can paint some Star Trek ships, which would be really cool. So I'm going to do the same glaze on the coins. It's more Reichland flesh shade. Yeah, it is Reichland. And the colour for my uh, Blood Bowl team, my Chaos team, I, I was painting them on these videos a while ago. Um, are a blue and a gold um, so my coins are going to be the same but the way I paint gold is give it a really thick um, shade and then dry brush and it's uh, quite a simple paint scheme for gold I was asked at the club yesterday how I paint my gold and this is this is pretty much it. Although saying that with the uh, world eaters that I paint their gold is painted very differently. But it's it's I like their gold as it is so I'm not changing it. So right, so at the club last night we or yesterday sorry because I was there all day. Um we started a Blood Bowl League. Now, I've spoke about this on and off uh, on here. And basically, uh, I played two games. Uh, a few other players played a game or two. And I won both my games. Um, now... I was I warned my opponents yesterday that I was I wasn't haven't been feeling too good. I've been a bit bit achy, bit not on my game sort of thing. Um, not as in on my game in in blood bowl, but just not feeling hundred percent. Um, and um, I was just I was not in a very understanding mood should I say makes sense I don't know um, and I, I wasn't the gentleman wargamer that I normally am I uh, 
was a little, little bit brutal but it's Blood Bowl and we're playing the league now and you know I was just like stuff it I can go all out and try and score and stuff now I'm not I'm still not playing the whole making a foul every turn and that kind of thing um, so I'm not that bad but I was quite efficient with what I'd done even with players down um, I won both games 2-0 so quite happy with how the games turned out um, got a, a kill as well in my first game which is really good so I'm going to start painting the gold on these two um, uh, re-roll uh, two markers whatever they are they're basically a hand holding a flaming goblet so again these aren't major pieces so I'm going for a fairly simple cut paint scheme on them I'm going to use my big brush because I'm base colouring so it's not a problem and we're going to basically just make a start on the gold um, so they've got a bit of trim here which is going to be gold and I'm not I'm not being mega tidy with this because it's going to be it's going to be painted over the gold that's that's missed so it's not a problem um, one thing you need to understand when you're painting I mean some people with base colors they're very much has to be stay in the lines and that kind of a, a mentality but you don't need to when you're base coloring you don't need to be very neat um, and we're going to do the trim on the side of the skull is going to be gold as well we're going to do the actual skull is going to be properly br uh, a skull so basically it's a flaming skull that he's holding as a as a, a goblet and the base of the thing can be painted gold as well so yeah so I want it I'm gonna next few weeks I'm gonna be cracking on with my world eater glaive because uh, I want to get that finished I've got ideas that it's a big centerpiece model um, so I've got an idea of what I want to do it's just whether I'm up to the task it's basically it's a really it's super heavy tank so it's really big um, it's got a big gun on his turret and um, I want to make it look like the, the turrets a round piece um, and uh, I want to make it look like the world eater symbol is uh, devouring the turret so the thing is that the, the World Eater symbol is red, uh, the Marines are white, so if I kind of mess up, I um, it's going to be quite hard to clean up the red after uh, with the white. But I'm sure I can do it. So I make make get make make myself a stencil, um, but we'll see. I might just freehand it. It might look a bit more natural if it's freehanded. I don't know. Well, that's not a job for today, that's a job for maybe next week. Hey, I might be finished my 15 models by next week, who knows. So yeah, so like I was saying, I painted two Imperial Fists in uh, Games Workshop. and um, After after the last, last uh, a, a couple of weeks ago when I played... Um, my nephew at the the club was trying to teach him 40k and um, there's a, a, a fundamental rule when you're trying to teach someone how to play a war game and you want to want to keep them interested is don't beat them um, unfortunately sometimes because you have dice involved they don't 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 let you not win and this has been a factor for a, a few weeks now. I'm on, on a bit of a hot streak with my dice rolling. Um, I'm saying that it's been about a month, to be honest. 
Um, nothing I can do about it, it's just my dice are rolling hot. Um, you get this from time to time in war games. Um, I feel a little bit guilty about it because I'm trying to teach people how to play games and stuff like that and it's it's just my luck's up at the moment I just wish it would be up a little bit so I could win the lottery but that, that's a bit too much asking for um, so yeah so I, I, I'm, I'm sorry but I'm not but you know it's uh, it's luck for you. Sometimes it goes, sometimes it doesn't. And I've had my fair share of bad luck in the past, so you know. But yeah, um, so the Blood Bowl League, uh, there was five games played or four games played. There was four games played. Um, I played one. I, I played two. Sorry. Um, won both by 2-0 um, uh, there was two other teams that won games uh, one guy has lost both his games and one guy's lost one game so did a little league table um, posted it up in the Blood Bowl group so season 1 is underway now um, but this this is another one of my little targets that I had um, for the year was to run a small campaign or a league um, which is the Blood Bowl League is now running the only commitment is people have to play 5 games in 8 or 9 weeks um, so it's not too much it's not too overbearing like it would be it would be nice if people could commit more, but they don't, and that's fine. Um, and if I turn around and said, oh, you've got to play everyone, home and away, I'm pretty sure the league wouldn't last, it wouldn't complete. So there's 10 teams, possibly 11. Um, and uh, yeah, you've only got to play five. So I've played three already, uh, two already. Maybe getting another one or two next week, but we'll see. Um, let's, no, that goes in that side. Right, so that's the gold all done on the um, the counters. What I'm going to do now is paint, start painting the football, which I probably will paint gold. Uh, so I didn't actually need to clean the palette, but anyway. Where did I put the ball? There it is. Now this ball's a bit weird. It's not your typical blood bar ball. It is basically uh, a skull. So, what we're going to do? I think we could get away with painting that gold and uh, doing the same to it because it's not a proper ball. It's clearly not a proper ball. Um, and the plan is, I'm going to magnetize it. So yeah, let's get the retributor armor out again. basically all I've done is I've embedded the ball into the blue tack so the lower half is covered in blue tack and so it means it's not undercoated but that's that's fine because when I magnetize the ball um, it's going to be part of the bo bottom of it is going to be almost cut off um, and then I'm going to uh, tidy it up and it won't be a problem so, so with stuff like this I always prefer to paint and then magnetize. Um, some people are the other way around, they prefer to magnetize first, I don't. So, because generally speaking, uh, the ways that I magnetize stuff, I don't drill into stuff very much, although I will for the ball a little bit. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So with this ball, I'm just gonna paint it all over gold. I'm not um, painting it as a skull, I'm actually painting it as a gold ball. And it's going to be treated the same as the throwing tokens and uh, all the gold on the other bits and pieces. But I'm 
I'm thinking about doing a slight glow in his eyes because it's 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 a weird ball. So yeah, but it's blood ball, so everything's weird. It's not a problem. But what I've noticed of late, I've not been um, watching as much uh, like mini wargaming stuff or YouTube stuff and whatever. I've just been, I've been tired, I've been busy, excuses, excuses, excuses. Um, I did catch up with mini wargamer Jay. Uh, he does his sit and paints kind of like I do. And he, I was inspired by him to do this a little bit. Um, him and Ash Baker from Gorilla Minish Games. Um, and basically it's just the case of, you know, it's it's a it's a format it works, so yeah. So that's what I'm doing. So you will notice I'm not painting. Basically I'm just waiting for the gold to dry on the ball so I can give it a second layer. Um, and then I'm gonna jump on to actually trying to paint some of the knights so these are the little knights that i've been um they're from adeptus titanicus they're sprayed red they're not perfectly sprayed red but it's fine because a lot of it is going to be um repainted silver uh, and i think we're not going to get around to painting these um imperial fists today i don't think so we're taking them off the stands and we're going to put a, a knight on the stand. Kind of go. Yeah, that'll do. He's on his stand. So I've got one I've got to repair. Um, basically, this captain can come off the painting handle. And uh, Mr. Knight can snap onto it like that. So I've got two knights there, which I'm going to start painting. Basically, they're just going to have... The skeleton's going to be painted silver. Um, and their armor's going to be red. Uh, I have got a fixed household for my knights that I, I, I collect. That, that one's red as well, but he's a free blade, so it doesn't count. Free blades are basically knights that have gone solo. Um, they don't align themselves with anything in particular. Um, but mine is mine is allied to the Blood Angels. Um, that's why he's got the winged the, the angel's wing on his uh, tilting shield. And like I said earlier, these knights they're exactly the same model, except uh, in a different scale. So so yeah, it's. Um, something a bit different to paint. So the ball's had its second layer of uh, gold now. So what we're going to do is uh, put a bit of silver on these, um, on at least one of these knights. Just carrying on painting. So next week, um, I was hoping to get a bit of uh, Horus Heresy played, but I don't think I will now. We want, we want lead belcher. So I'm probably just going to be playing Blood Bowl again. Which that is not too bad. Now, I, haven't, I haven't played continuously Blood Bowl for quite a long time. So playing a league is quite nice. Um, and it's even nicer that I'm winning games. Because I've generally been quite bad at Blood Bowl. But it's fine. I mean, my original team were dwarfs. This was a long, long time ago, 20 plus years ago. And um, I lost every game in the league except one. We played a whole team roster, top to bottom. And I, I won one game and I lost every other game. I was, I was quite bad. But there you go. So we're going to do the Knight Errant first, and he's Knight Errant because he's got the uh, Thermal Cannon. And he's... Okay, let's not do that one. So these are Blue Tacks to their bases, so... 
it's fine that it fell off. It's not fine, but it's okay. We'll sort something out. So yeah, so we're just basically going over and we're painting the skeleton under the armour. And I'm trying to keep it quite similar to the um, to the 40k knight that I've got to my left, just underneath the camera. So basically the armour is going to be painted all silver, and the um, skeleton is going to be painted all silver. The feet are black, and the armour plates are red, black, and the trim is gold. So yeah, basically the whole story is, I, I came up, I've all, I always come up with a little bit of fluff for my armies. And the knight is basically, he was uh, part of a, part of a force that was going to reinforce uh, an army during the Horus Heresy. Um, he was in stasis because he's a knight and uh, probably not put in stasis normally but he was in stasis that's my choice um, and the ship was lost in a warp um, and basically it wasn't found again until the blood angels stumbled across it and uh, awoke the night 10,000 years later so the night's out of time but war is war so he allied with the blood angels um, there was three knights that were in the same on the same ship uh, on the same situation so Dante commissioned them into a new household called the Brotherhood of Angels and uh, I haven't played knights really since then um, so it would be nice to do that but basically this household that I'm making for the heresy is where he's from um, which their home world no longer exists because it was destroyed during the heresy um, but these guys were in stasis so they didn't know that so yeah so the whole idea was I was going to get I wanted to get another uh, get an errant which is the thermal cannon knight um, to get a um, a lancer to be the uh, the leader of them. Um, but I had all these ideas before I quit work, and um, now I can't afford to, so they'll have to be put on hold for a little while. But that's okay. There's a chance I could be back to full-time work in, in a very short amount of time anyway, so we'll see. So yeah, this is just a bit awkward because he's uh, quite a small model. When I say small, his, his detail is quite small. He's, uh, he's bigger than a space rain, as you saw from the little clip I did at the beginning we're talking about scale in, in wargaming again I'm not being mega careful about making sure I miss all the stuff that sprayed red because I'll just tidy up later it's fine so this is legs done so we're going to go on to the the waist and the uh, upper body. But yeah, I was I was looking into uh, names for my uh, for, for my Titan Legion. It's, uh, I've always said that my Titans will be from the Forge of Metallica. Um, mainly because I, I love to ban Metallica um, and it is in no relation anything to do with it but it's, uh, it's it's quite a cool thing that's what I'm sticking to um, so I was looking at names for them and I thought well why not have a look at song names of Metallica and transfer them into um, Lane so I have so I've come up with some names for him. Uh, I can't remember him off the top of my head. Um, 
but I'm sure I will at some point. He's got a big uh, chain sword. It's uh, yeah, it's probably the size of a build, a small building. So so yeah, so I just I haven't finished building my Titanicus yet because uh, I've still got a warlord to build. I've still got three more nights to build as well. Um, but as I said to someone at the club yesterday, um, I got to try and build their, the buildings from Titanicus and for some reason it really put me off. The buildings aren't great. Um, they are uh, difficult to align. Uh, they're not something you can quickly build and, and make them look good. So you've got to put a lot of time and effort into them. And um, I was just just tempted to not bother. But then I'm missing out part of the game. So I'm going to build them. And I'm going to do the other Titans. But the other Titan and the Knights even. Um, but there's no rush. I'll get to them when I get to them. And they had the uh, the Reaver Titans go on pre-order this week. Um, which I'm tempted to get one. Just one for now. Because the mandible I'm going for is two Warlords and a Reaver. Um, that's the minimum you've got to have. Um, and this Reaver Titan, I'm planning to have it the as be the same Reaver Titan that I have in 40k so it's going to be equipped the same way um, except that those weapons aren't available yet um, but yeah it's going to be the same time so it's going to be painted the same way it's going to be called the same thing I'm actually tempted to be painting them at the same time as well, the 30k and the 40k one. No, the Adeptus Titanicus one and the the uh, 40k scale one. But I don't know about that. So this this one is the he's got a Gatling cannon, so he's a Crusader, I believe. I don't know the knights very well. I've like I said, I've got a Paladin, but I've played him. Uh, I don't think I've used him at all in 8th edition. Oh, yes, I have. I played him in a big game that we played at the club. And he died quite quickly. Um, um, so I think I've used him once and that's it. Um, not used him in Heresy either. Generally speaking, I don't want to play Knights in Heresy. So I've got my... Um, I've got my super, my Lords of War for my Heresy army anyway, in the form of uh, Angron and uh, my Glaive. So, and I would say both of them are on par or equally more powerful than a, a knight. So, yeah, I don't bring a knight. And I think you have to bring two anyway. I don't think you could bring a single knight. I think you have to have two. So they're, they're the lesser super heavies that in in 30k they're not they're, they're they're powerful don't get me wrong but they're not all powerful like some of the other super heavies can be not saying that the glaive's not mega powerful but it can be mega powerful if if it hits right and it does its what it's supposed to but there you go So yeah, so the, the Reaver's been put on pre-order. So it comes out this weekend coming. So I, I wouldn't expect the Warhounds to be very far behind now. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's that knife. Right. We've got the heavy stubber to paint on him. It's 
going to be silver as well. Um, so yeah, the, I don't think the Warhounds will be very far behind. I think they'll be coming out pretty soon as well. Um, it's just weird that they say about, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the ideal way to to start learning a heresy, uh, a Titanicus army is to play one Warlord and one Warhound, and then the Warhounds aren't available yet. So that's not very clever. But I've had a couple of games of it, and I've played um, one Warlord and three Knights. The Knights are just throwaway cannon fodder, and it's that's fine. But well, we played them wrong anyway. Um, but the Warlords are, are quite powerful. They can take a, a lot of damage, or they could get one shotted. Um, I've seen both happen. I've experienced it myself. My warlord took a lot of punishment before he died. Um, but I've also seen a one-shot kill. So it's it can go either way. Right, so he's done. He's got his silver on him. That's yeah, so about halfway through. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, shade the uh, the markers for my blood ball team and the ball. We're going to clean the palette first. See the, the great the thing with Titanicus. I mean, I could buy. I've got fifteen models left to paint for the year. If I decided to buy a load of knights, I could paint them fairly quickly. I think. <coughs> so. Yeah, maybe I could do that, but I don't want to. I still want to flick around and do different jobs and different models to paint and stuff like that. I don't want to be painting the same thing week in, week out, because I'll get bored and I'll, I'll not want to paint. So, to be honest, I didn't want to paint today, if I'm brutally honest, but pushing myself, because I'm doing the videos, I'm going to stick with it, I'm going to carry on doing it. This is number 42, so... I'm 10 more videos away from the year and then I'll reassess what I'm doing I don't know if I'll carry on but we'll see so again just going over the gold with the uh, the Reichland Flesh Shade giving it a bit of a shade just making sure I get all the gold Again, these, these are quite a simple paint scheme and I feel almost a fraud to say that they were completed models, but they are. They totally are. Maybe not the ball. Maybe I won't count the ball, but the rest of them are. The templates as well. People will probably cry and go, go oh, that's not a model, blah, 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 but I don't care. It was my painting challenge I can say what was and what isn't, so yeah. So I did this last year as well. When I painted some I painted some barrels and some crates and stuff and I just counted it as one one model. But I did put a fair bit of effort into it. So maybe I shouldn't have. But But this year I'm not. This year I'm I'm doing it properly so okay cool so that's the shade done on them hey okay so we're going to see how dry these other things are and we might start work on them a little bit. The shade brush, the wash brush rack. So the coins are more or less dry. I think they're dry. Maybe a bit longer. But the templates are pretty much dry as well. Uh, there's a little bit of wet bits on them. 
So I'm going to leave them a little bit longer and uh, come back to them in a bit. Yeah, they're still wet. They're still wet. It's fine. Right, so I'm going to jump onto something I haven't really painted for a while, which is one of my Harlequins. We're going to move these off the table. And this is a, a troop master. Let's put the the guy that fell off his base. We'll stick him over there. And we'll put this knight up here as well. So this is the troop master that I started a while ago. All I've basically done is I painted the base colour and shaded the, the purple. So let's finish the purple off. So we've got some Xerxes purple and some Gene Stealer purple. We're going to start off with Xerxes purple and give it a first layer. See, this was this was supposed to be the second stage of, of the slow grow we were running at the club, and it, it, the slow grow fell apart. It, it hasn't carried on. Some people are still still doing a little bits of their armies, but generally speaking, they're not. Um, like for example, last week, this week, sorry, just gone. We probably should have progressed to fifteen hundred, and I I didn't play. I played. Did I play one game with my thousand point army? Yeah, I think just one, which was the beginner game, which I shouldn't have played that, that army in, but anyway. I didn't think Harlequins were that powerful, and to be fair, they're really not. But when your dice roll's good, your dice roll's good. So we're going to go for our number one grade brush. going to start layering the purple on the uh, we'll actually start on his leg Let's draw some of that off of there so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm glad that we did the slow grow a little bit because it started it pushed me to start getting some harlequins painted um, because I was very much quite comfortable in not bothering to actually start the army I mean I had I bought the models they were sitting in cases um, some of them were part assembled some weren't assembled at all um, but I don't it, it, it's nice sometimes like I paint so much armor on my army so I've got space rings different types of space rings I've got cow space rings I've got cow warriors I've got you know it's armor after armor after armor um, so painting something which is like cloth and um, flowing clay capes and stuff like that is a little bit of a change and uh, it appeases my hobby butterfly a little bit and I've talked about hobby butterfly quite a lot this is just a prime example of what Hobby Butterfly is. So I've got Imperial Fists on my desk. I've got the Chaos stuff for my Blood Bowl team. I've got Harlequins and I've got Adeptus Titanicus. It's not sticking to one project. It's not a good thing or a bad thing. It's just it is. So... So yeah, it's, it's the way I like to paint. And uh, who's to say what's right or wrong when you are painting miniatures? You paint what you, you what you like. So yeah, it was good bumping into uh, some old friends the last week or so. That was that was pretty cool. Uh, one of them I was talking to a fair bit in Games Workshop last Thursday. He's just starting to get back into the hobby a little bit. So that's cool. And of course I've never well I'd say never left the hobby. I've I've had I've had times when I haven't really painted very much for for months or I haven't gamed for years. Um, not generally speaking not happened for a while now so I mean last year I think I had a month and a half where I didn't paint anything 
Um, I was going through a bit of a dry spell. It's weird. This this year, I haven't really had painter's block at all. I just want. I, I'm enjoying doing what I'm doing. I wanted to paint. Um, okay, there's been the odd time when I've been like, oh, I want to not bother, but. I always push myself that little bit and then I actually enjoy painting anyway so it's been good so we're going to paint the inside of his cloak just a bit of delicate work there and he's got a bit of a collar but yeah this 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 one this single guy is not not even half of the 500 points it's he's a low he's a he's a relatively high level character but he's not powerful or anything um it's the uh, the jet bikes and the the um hover tanks that are the main part of the extra 500 points um, and uh, whether I get them finished or not I don't know but I'm going to try but who knows Especially with there's a new um, weekly magazine coming out called uh, Warhammer Forty Thousand Conquest. Um, it's a basically it's one of these week by week you build up a force. Um, you get a magazine, you get some models, um, some paints, some brushes, that kind of thing. Um, it's like what they did for Lord of the Rings with the Aganasi years and years ago which I've still got them over there in folders and stuff um, so I, I, I signed up for this because uh, I thought it would be good for my nephew who basically can learn about the the galaxy the 40k universe and uh, learn how to paint a little bit and with models as well um, But we kind of decided that he will it will be for me and then he'll have it afterwards um, so basically he'll get some of the models but not all of them um, so I'm going to be basically starting a death guard army but they're not going to be full on death guard they're going to be black legion so they're just going to be plague marines um, so black legion plague marines um, so I've got some Black Legion Berserkers, I would like some uh, Black Legion Rubikai who are Thousand Suns, and I would like some Noise Marines but I'm not paying for the, for the resin, not buying them in resin, I'm going to wait till they come out in plastic and I'll probably get them then. Just painting the underside of his cloak now with his purple is a bit awkward to paint but uh, let's do it that from there that'll be better we also played skull at the club on uh, my, uh, yesterday and I won as well um, which is shocking I've never won skull before but there you go skull is a little board game which you can play with up to six people or eight people I can't remember um, it doesn't take too long it's quite a nice little game so okay so this that's this guy the, the purple done on him We've got the second layer of purple obviously but I'll get to that in a little bit but I'm gonna call that video about done I think that's a roughly about an hour 
Um, thank you very much for listening and or watching or whatever you're doing. Paint along with me. You know, it makes sense. Have me on the new background. It's fine. It's what I do anyway. It's what I do to with the other YouTubers that I listen to. <coughs> Have them on in the background while I'm painting. And um, yeah, it's good. So I'm going to cut it there. Thank you very much. I will see you all around, I'm sure. Um, until next week. Uh, goodbye.